Ladies and gentlemen, our first of two semifinal races in the men's bracket. First up, to my right in the blue lane, the number five seed from Morristown, New Jersey, Josiah Pippel. And to my left in the red lane, our top qualifier from Lakeville, Massachusetts, Noah Munier. And well, you know, I realized something. All four of these ninjas that have advanced stayed dry. Uh, Noah climbed up the truss because he knew he had won on time. Josiah obviously finishing the course and the other two athletes only had to get through rooftop rumble. Well, you know what? Staying dry is a big deal because you don't have to deal with wet clothes and perhaps any leftover moisture even from changing. And this is gonna be a good race. And here we go. Noah's best time on this course at 216. Josiah, 217 moments ago, they're both starting from behind the neck. And it doesn't seem like it's the fastest technique, but it's worked for these two. Uh, we're almost, almost at a mirror match right now, but Josiah, great turn on the wagon wheel and instantly into the boardwalk. Going for that vertical board, he's got it. He had a little bit of an awkward grab the first time, this time much better. Yeah, and now he gets, wow, that's a nice transition to the boards. Only the dismount. He's actually has a pretty nice lead heading into the rooftop rumble. Let's see how he handles the zigzag. Going to take a, a brief rest. But Noah, Noah going right for it. He actually had a bit of a stutter yeah. step there, which caused him to lose a little bit of momentum. So now they're very, they're very even at the moment. We know both of these athletes can beat Monstro Climb, but getting there is still important. It's Josiah who gets there first, and now who's going to get off of it first? So. This is, like we mentioned before, is very key because if, well unlikely, both men end up failing this obstacle, Josiah will be given the win. So if the pressure is on Noah to complete this obstacle. Which we know he can do. He's essentially three for three. I think technically he, it, it didn't count as him clearing last time. But, but he, he cleared did, He it. did get to the end. Yeah. He just didn't hit the touch point. He's gonna go first. You know what, he knows that he is slightly behind technically. So, but moreover, why isn't Josiah going? He wants the full rest, I guess. Very surprising. Meanwhile, Noah through the eight-foot section. That last small gap is good. He's up to the wow. rope. And now he's got a huge lead as Josiah oh, falls on wow. Monstro Climb. Something must have happened. I wonder if he just got gassed on Heavenly Ascent during his last run. But Noah was once again going to head over the truss and climb down. Josiah, a stunning defeat on Monster Climb, and Noah Munier is heading to the finals. I gotta say, I, I, we, were, we were wondering why Josiah was taking that rest for so long. I think that early part, I think he got a flash pump and he just hit with this big wave of exhaustion because he went down on the Monster Climb almost immediately. I guess that's what happened. I, I'm as surprised as you are. It looks like we're going to be joined in the booth again by one Noah. More, Congratulations. More. Congratulations, sir. Our number one, one more one. indeed. Yes. And, but he's been through the whole course twice now, although he hasn't had to do Heavenly Ascent. Our next two athletes haven't had to do the back half of the course yet today. 